just <clears throat> up on our toes. Okay, we're gonna be getting up on the toes like that. All right. If you want to challenge yourself and do one, that's fine. You're just warming up, getting the blood flowing. You know, if you're like me, you, it's been a long week. It's hard to get up this morning. Alternating legs here. My watch is yelling at me. It says, make it happen today. I'm going to make it happen. Calf raises. I'm holding on to the wall for support, but you don't have to. You can just do two legs. All right, calf raises. Getting those calves warmed up. You can rock a little bit too. You can rock to your heels. That's kind of fun too. Put your butt back, chest out. Just getting those calves warmed up. We're gonna be using our legs a lot today. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to twists. Just a simple twist. Ooh, need a little bit of space for this one. Get those hands behind you. We do this one in lacrosse a lot too, for shooting purposes. Coach Vera knows. You know, if you're a shooter, you gotta have, you gotta be able to coil yourself up, uncoil yourself, or cork yourself up and uncork yourself. Just twisting right now. We're gonna do chest and back flex next, and then a rocker again because I we did that yesterday and I really like that one for the ab warm up. Happy Friday! If you're watching this video for educational purposes, this is called a twist. You should be able to pull these exercises out of the video. Chest and back flex. So we're getting those back muscles warmed up, those chest muscles warmed up by crossing those arms. Chest and back flex. We'll go into a rocker after this. Get those arms up. You got them down here, you're being lazy. Get them up high. Shoulder height. Just getting some trapezoid warm up as well. Trapezoids. Learn a little bit about the muscle groups. Pectorals, right? Got your scapulous muscles in the back there. <laughs> your upper uvulus, <laughs> not a muscle from a movie. All right, rocker. This is a back rocker, sorry. We'll do a front rocker too. We'll do this one for 30 seconds. And we'll do the uh, front rocker for 30, just to warm up the wrists. <laughs> not really necessary today. We're not going to be doing a whole lot on our wrists. Rocking. Get those feet off the ground a little bit. Get those wrists warmed up. You can also just kind of put some pressure on them. If you want to do it on your knees, that's fine too. Back side of your hands. Okay, that's a rocker. And then a rotating Ab, hip, back flexion. Oh yeah, should feel it in the back of your legs too, hamstrings. And then we're gonna get right into a pogo bounce with a drop squat. Try to keep those legs straight when you're doing these stretches. Dynamic stretching. Hey, Benny. Hi. 
Benny needs a haircut. He hasn't had a haircut in a while, so he's refusing to enter the video. Five more seconds. Get your heart rate ready now. Getting ready to jump up there. All right, here we go. Pogo bounce, drop squat. Pogo bounce, drop squat. So you're bouncing on two feet. So they come together and then feet apart for that drop squat. Give you a side angle on this one. Get that butt down. Pogo bounce to a drop squat. Right into a V-sit, straddle cross. So V-sit, V-sit. Okay, you can also just do it. V-sit, cross, V-sit, cross. I've seen people do it like this too. So lots of different options there. If you need to put your hands down, cross the legs. This is hard. A little bit for the guys. Either way, you're working the abs here. V sit, straddle cross. V sit, straddle cross. I'm gonna add the arms, okay? V-sit straddle cross, right into a high knee boxer. So get those knees up, get that jab. Try an uppercut in there. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. Uh, try to alternate it. High knee boxer to a side plank lift. Side plank lift. Down. Up. Down. Whew. Side plank lift. You really want to challenge yourself? Up on your arm, or up on your straight arm. Up on your hand, I should say. Other side. So here's the cheat code for you or the modification. Here's the challenging one. You can really challenge yourself to go side stand. How about that level right there? Huh? Side plank lifts. All right, to a side squat. Whew. We're gonna take a minute rest after this. Whew. You really wanna challenge yourself on this one? You can put one foot in a TRX. I like to do that one. So you put that foot in a TRX. Let it rest inside that and just do a single leg side squat, okay? I haven't been able to do it on a chair yet. 
and then you would just alternate. So you're squatting to the other leg, and then up on that leg. Yeah, I see those thumbs ups. Not sure how you're doing thumbs up and doing the workout, but I like it. Take a minute rest. All right. Debbie's watching. Jerzak, love you, buddy. Mats and girls, yeah. Liking it. This is good. Heart rate's climbing. I don't know about you. Give it another 30 seconds here. Current heart rate says uh, 124. About another 15 seconds and then we got shoulder taps and knee taps. Straddle cross jumping jacks. Hand plank to striking bear pose. Quarter turn knee ups, kind of like a can can. And then a butterfly sit up to finish this off on our cardio. Ready? Here we go. Shoulder taps to knee taps. Opposites. I'll give you a different angle on this. So shoulder taps, knee taps, a lot of coordination involved here, crossing the midline, this is good for the little ones, even the adults, don't forget to breathe, you can even keep your knees going if you wanted to, all right? Shoulder taps to knee taps, straddle cross jumping jacks. Look at my legs crossing. The modification here is straddle, okay? Cross your arms. You don't have to. All right. 30 more seconds of straddle cross jumping jack. Get those arms up. And then we're going into a hand plank to striking bear pose. I like striking bear. That should be my nickname, striking bear. Hand plank, right underneath your shoulders, striking bear, hand plank, striking bear. Striking bear, hand plank, sit that butt down, don't touch the knees. If you need to, that's fine, challenge yourself to not strike the knees, or put the knees down. <sighs> Got about 20 seconds on this, and then we're doing quarter turn knee ups. It's like a can-can, it's not easy. Just gonna let you know now, it's gonna look a little weird, might feel a little awkward. Right, kind of looks like a can can, right? You can kind of make it easier. Touch that opposite elbow. Whew. 30 more seconds to this one. And then we got butterfly sit ups. And then our cardio is done. Ten minute hit it. 
That's it. Get that mood going. Get that mood up. Five seconds. Finish strong. Whoo! Butterfly sit ups. Butterfly sit. Down. Sit up. Butterfly sit ups. Let's maintain that butterfly pose. Thirty more seconds. Come on, you got this. Butterfly sit ups. And then we'll go right into a runner stretch. Static cool downs. There it is. All right. Here we go. On your hands, feet, bring your left foot up, or it doesn't matter, right foot. And then twist, hold it. Whew, you can put that back knee down if you want to. Feel a stretch on the inside, the groin. Okay, switch feet here. Switch hand. Put that back knee down if you want to. You're gonna hold it. That's fine. So we're twisting the spine, the neck, chest is opening up a little bit. Groin, stretching the hips. The great stretch. Three seconds, two, one, into a pretzel. So crisscross, press that knee, twist your body. Whew, man, I love these workouts. I hope you do. I like to pack a bunch of stuff in. Even if you have to modify it, just packing it in, you know? It's not really an easy button, but keep it simple, fun, intense. We're going to go into a knee hug after this. So right leg over left leg. We're just going to hug that knee, stretch the glutes out a little bit. Five seconds. Three. All right. Right over left. Hug that knee. Yeah. Just feel a stretch in the glutes there. Heart rate's coming down. It's telling me 103. It's pretty good. It's coming down quick, but not too quick. It says 92 right now. Really starting to slow things down. Switch legs. Hug that knee. Feel that stretch in the back of the glutes there. Similar to that pigeon pose we did yesterday. I think it's called pigeon. Are you sitting on your knee? There's another way to do it too, where you lay on your back and do it. I'm gonna show you that in another time. Five seconds, four, three, two, and do a lunge. Again. Put the knee down if you want to, hold it, look down to be able to see your toes, okay? Or you can keep the knee off the ground, just be able to see the toe, if not, move your foot forward a little bit, there you go, there it is down there, hey toe, okay, five seconds, other leg, this is it. That'll do it for today. Happy Friday. I got a new challenge. We're going to be posting on the web, on the YouTube page later today. It's called the Dad Perfect 
trick socks. So it's probably a 10 to 15 minute sock laundry basket challenge. It was fun for the kids, fun for the adults too. It's fun for me, fun to do as a family. All right, keep it real. Have a great day, have a great weekend.